How's it going guys, Vapif here and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I want to discuss OnePlus and its flagship killer moniker. So back in the day when OnePlus smartphones were really cheap but really good, they used to focus on the fact that they were inexpensive flagship phones. Ever since then, they've sort of increased their prices over and over over the past couple of years and now they've become the flagship smartphone. So if you actually go ahead and look at the OnePlus 8 Pro, it starts at $899. Yes, the OnePlus 8 starts at $699, but if you want everything that OnePlus has to offer, including the extra space, the extra RAM, etc, etc, you're going to be spending around $1,000 for the OnePlus 8 Pro. Now, I've been using the 8 Pro for a couple of days now. If you want to check out the full review, I'll have it linked on the card above whenever I make it on GN Tech's channel. But in today's video, I want to discuss something about a smartphone that we were hearing when the OnePlus 8 Pro was supposed to be launched, but then it sort of fizzled out. And that's the OnePlus Z or the OnePlus 8 Lite. Light. So if we go ahead and have a look at this tweet from Max J, he basically points at a July 2020 launch for the OnePlus Z. And this obviously makes sense because the OnePlus Z, the budget variant of the OnePlus phone they were supposed to launch, was delayed due to COVID-19. Now, if they are indeed going to be launching a budget smartphone, they could be competing directly with the likes of the Google Pixel 4a, uh, the Apple iPhone SE 2020 variant, and of course this phone, if they price it at exactly $400, which I think is the sweet spot that OnePlus wants to hit. Now in terms of specifications, pricing, uh, etc, all of these are rumors and I'm not actually gonna uh, tell you guys all of the specifications because I don't know them either, but some of them that I do know are very interesting and one of the things I want to actually point you guys towards is this leak from slash leak so according to this guy uh, called the tech champ he's got one leak he's got one view but this exactly lines up with the OnePlus Z image that was tweeted earlier today. So this might be the OnePlus Z in a nutshell. So we've got a bezel all around and a center punch hole style camera. So it's a bit weird seeing a center punch hole style coming from the fact that the OnePlus 8 series has the punch hole on the left side of the phone. The center punch hole might be, you know, to do with design uh, limitations. Maybe this is cheaper to produce. Now, in terms of specifications, if you look at the screen, um, nothing is really showing up here. So we can't really judge on that, but this might be a 6 to 6.5 inch panel. It's obviously going to be an AMOLED panel because I don't think OnePlus will skimp out on that. It looks to be a flat panel, so nothing on the curvature side. But one thing I am noticing is if you have a look at the left side of the photo, this thing looks to be photoshopped. And that's the only concern I have for this uh, image. I don't think it's valid because of this Photoshop, but it does say this, this is from the OnePlus series, the OnePlus Z, and the OnePlus phone that was delayed because of the virus. Now, it also says that this main launch is supposed to be in India only. So this might be a phone that is region specific and not might not make it to all uh, regions in the world. Now, in terms of internal specifications, we know that the OnePlus X that was released a few uh, years back didn't have the most high end processing power. But according to what we're hearing and according to the leaks and according to how the market is performing now, we should be seeing a phone with 5G support at $400 with NFC support for sure. So either the Qualcomm Snapdragon 765 5G processor or the MediaTek 1000L processor. Now, rumors are pointing towards the latter, which could make one of the first ever OnePlus phones to actually sport a chipset that is not made by Qualcomm. Now, again, this could be due to the fact that OnePlus wants to heavily cut on costs, but we'll have to wait and see. As far as the front-facing camera specifications go, I literally have no idea, but the screen might be a full HD plus panel for sure. Um, again, as I said, 66.5 inches. I don't think they're gonna go anywhere smaller because people want big screens on their smartphones nowadays especially if this phone is sort of even has a slight inclination of being marketed as a gaming phone i think they want to go with a full screen experience i don't know if they're going to have stereo speakers and they might throw in the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack now in terms of camera specifications we don't know anything about the front or the back the front might be an 8 to a 16 megapixel sensor nothing really major on it while the back might sport a dual or a triple camera setup i might um, sort of allude to the fact that this camera might be exactly the one found on the OnePlus 7 series. That would sort of make sense. The 7T had a pretty decent camera and I wouldn't be surprised if OnePlus went with that. But the front facing camera, I don't think will have 4K 30 FPS video recording because even the OnePlus 8 Pro series or the 8 series doesn't have that. So that might be something you would miss out on. In terms of software, we'd be looking at Oxygen OS. We'd be looking at some great 
close to stock Android-like performance, and I don't think software will be that big of an issue. Um, probably 6GB of RAM, 64GB of storage maybe, but I don't think they're gonna bring the micro SD card slot on this phone just for the simple reason that they've been doing it all across like since their launch and I don't think they'd change tactics now. But yeah, I think the OnePlus Z or the OnePlus 8 Lite or the OnePlus 8 Z, whatever OnePlus wants to call this, is very imminent and according to the leaks, it could be as soon as July. Now, if this thing is priced at $399 and it brings flagship level specifications, maybe uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 on board, this is like dreamland stuff, this could be a huge hit and could basically mean the Apple iPhone SE 2020 competition on the Android side of the world. Because if there's one company that can do it, it's OnePlus because of their fan base. But I don't think they're gonna go on that route because that basically makes their uh, OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro series, the one they focused on so much, kind of obsolete. And because the fan base just wants a cheap phone that has flagship specifications, that would hamper the OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro's sort of sales. Um, no matter how good the camera on the 8 and 8 Pro is compared to the Z. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this smartphone down in the comments. Do you think it has a space in the market? I definitely do think it has a space in the market because the Chinese smartphones we've been talking about in the past couple of days, while they're really good, they're sort of focused on China specific. And if this thing can come out to the international audience and knowing OnePlus, they might push it to the international audience. It could be a great smartphone to have in your pocket, maybe a second smartphone or a first smartphone for anyone who is younger and wants to get into, you know, using a smartphone, maybe even content creation, stuff like that. But yeah, this is something to look forward to and I can't wait for July. July is actually when my birthday is, so maybe I'll pick this up as a birthday gift. But anyways, enough of the chat. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Are you interested? Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. This was Vabhav and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.